Assalamualaikum and salam jahat selamat datang sekali lagi ke channel aku Era of the Geeks and hari ini aku ada buat review untuk satu benda yang kita dah lama sangat dah tak nampak dalam market and it is interesting sebab AVF uh, gaming freak dia rasa nak get into this section and aku pun rasa interested sebab mungkin it's not just untuk gaming saja ada application untuk benda-benda lain untuk untuk dalam situasi lain so here it is AVF Gaming Freak One on One Gaming Pad. Oh, that's a very long name. So I think the name is just Gaming Freak One on One. Two sages, nanya. But untuk first impressions, aku rasa macam not bad, right? It does look nice. So sebagaimana yang korang tahu AVF ni dia actually a brand that is usually known as affordable and also dia orang keluarkan gaming freak punya section untuk dia orang punya gaming punya section and so far it has been a good track yang aku perasan lah. So far dia orang keluarkan produk-produk yang not bad and aku tengok ada a few products yang baru-baru ni pun um, which aku tak try lagi of course tapi aku tengok from first impressions and uh, ada pergi dekat dia punya warehouse hari tu aku tengok sikit It is not bad. So it is interesting dia orang rasa interested nak go back into the gaming pad when you see which is the applications are limited and also at the same time aku rasa ada applications untuk dalam situasi yang lain. So let's take a closer look, shall we? All right guys, so first things first, we are going to get up close and personal kepada design dia. Kau orang tengok dekat design dia. This is It has a soft touch feel dekat dia punya tepi tu. Aku tak sure sama ada dia akan jadi melekit ke ataupun tidak ke in the future. Tak ada masalah so far. And also ada soft touch right over here dekat dia punya padding system for your wrist. And korang akan tengok jalan lagi macam mana how my hand will rest. And unfortunately dekat belakang ni what I was disappointed to see was there was no like a rising mechanism for the keypad, for the gamepad. So aku rasa macam disappointed sikit. Uh, they could have inserted like a riser underneath here so that dia macam elevated sikit kan so korang akan tengok it is quite flat and also the keys dekat sini ialah your somewhat normal keys yang korang usually use and also a space bar right here korang akan nampak bila aku unplug or plug back in tengok eh it is basically it's somewhat already plug and play sebab korang tengok kalau aku tekan escape sini and then tap tengok dia dah tukar colour and shift dia tukar the mode of the system sama ada breathing ataupun static macam tu and also bila aku tekan lagi tab ni dia akan tukar color lagi dia akan cycle lagi and it will remain in the breathing mode unless korang tekan jadi switch off ataupun switch on ataupun ni brightness dia turunkan naikkan so there are a few colors to choose from although it is not fully RGB It has a few colors to choose from as you can see oh I'm sorry uh, green there is uh, purple there is uh, cyan and yellow and white and red and blue and back to green and also kalau korang tengok dekat dia punya tepi ni juga ada lighting juga so korang bila korang tukar tu korang nampak lighting dia tukar nampak Ooh. but yes unfortunately yet again dia tak fully RGB light like 16.8 million colors so korang tak boleh customize Habis-habis macam mana korang nak But all the main colors yang usually korang akan nampak Ada kat sini So aku rasa you're quite set actually Jadi korang tengok eh Bila aku letak tangan aku macam ni It is quite It is quite low I mean aku like, like, Macam aku cakap lah aku, I just wish dia ada option untuk aku boleh naikkan dia sikit So that bila aku main game And then tangan aku dia macam elevated sikit It will be more I think I would be much more responsive and also dah terbiasa kot maybe at the same time sebab aku punya keyboard pun elevated and yang ni dia macam quite a little bit flat kat situ kan but it does feel very very comfortable right now so gamepad ni bukannya mechanical but the tactile feel daripada the macam plunger type of keyboard keycap I'm going to show it to you in a little bit so korang tengok sini korang jangan risau in real life dia tak ada flicker macam ni sebab ni kamera so dia akan nampak macam flickering kau tengok eh dekat sini bila aku tarik dia tak ada keycap pula so dia punya the type of uh, switch yang ada ni is bawah tu membrane and this mechanism right here akan buat dia rasa macam korang tekan dekat mechanical punya keyboard. So bawah tu ada rubber dome macam standard membrane keyboard. But the mechanism kat atas ni macam aku cakap tadi, it will give you a feel like macam korang tekan dekat mechanical. So bila korang tekan nanti dia jadi macam 
It does sound a little bit like macam mechanical But of course uh, kepada siapa-siapa yang dah biasa sangat pakai keyboard mechanical Ataupun dah biasa sangat pakai uh, rubber dome punya keyboard Akan dapat tahu, dapat bezakan uh, sama ada ni mechanical at ataupun tidak But it's fine sebab macam aku cakap lah, within this price range uh, there's not much to complain. Well, aku rasa at least semua orang boleh agree that uh, most people akan suka this type of touch kind of feel. Tapi dia nampak macam, it macam senang kotor lah. So, sebab nampak, nampak macam it's already dirty already. So, that depends on you, I guess. But, so far aku guna, it's not bad. Sebab aku set keybind untuk streaming software and aku tukar-tukar scene aku guna dekat keypad sini. It is much much easier sebab dia tak menyemak dekat aku punya main keyboard. Well guys, unfortunately aku tak boleh nak tunjuk dekat korang macam mana dia punya setup untuk streaming software dia. But, aku dah try dekat aku punya streaming main, main PC dekat belakang tu. It is much much easier aku tak boleh nak tunjuk sebab aku punya PC tengah dalam proses pembedahan lagi sekali and you you know what that means so uh, aku tengah test dekat laptop ni and also the gaming pad is right here so software is you can just download from Google just search and just download ataupun korang boleh pergi dekat belakang kotak ni ada tulis dekat belakang ni to download software visit avf.com.my/support.php kat situ korang boleh Download the software for this AVF Gaming one on one. You know what, Gaming Freak? Besides the fact that you didn't give us any option for elevation underneath, I'm still going to give uh, Gaming Freak quite a high mark for design because it doesn't look. Dia tak nampak macam terlalu flashy sangat macam the previous design daripada Gaming Freak, and dia tak terlalu minimalist sampai dia tak nampak macam gamer. It does look like a gamer, and it also looks quite professional. I didn't say as like really really professional but it is quite professional for my taste. It is not bad and dia tak terlalu macam wow untuk depan mata sangat and also dia punya the space bar is a nice touch because it you know you're using your thumb for the space bar and the design right here and also a definite plus about dia bagi braided cable and not a lot of cheap affordable brands would do that nowadays and also a cable velcro right here so that it is much much more organized and i really really do appreciate it and last but not least macam aku pernah cakap dulu ada satu keyboard dulu dia orang hantar which is the i think the mxr9 ke yeah, mxr9 i think um the gaming freak logo branding was so huge so it was very obnoxious it was very in your face when your type of branding but this one it is very subtle and dia tak terlalu gah sangat tak tunjuk sangat depan mata korang yang ni datang daripada gaming freak and also that is a good touch that is a definite definite plus good one gaming freak so what do you guys think aku rasa it's uh, it's again very interesting sebab gaming freak dia masuk balik ke dalam market untuk gaming pad ni where Dulu Razer ada and also I think Logitech kalau tak salah aku Logitech was it Logitech ke apa ke benda ke aku I forgot tapi they had the gaming pad juga which is at one point it was all the craze everybody were, were like went, went, went so crazy about it so untuk AVF untuk gaming free datang balik kepada market ni it is again very interesting and they pada aku have executed it quite well so tengok macam mana and so far by their own mouth apa yang diorang cakap sendiri dekat aku diorang dapat sambutan yang baik untuk ni sebab it is very affordable that's one thing the design is okay it's nice the build quality it's okay as well lepas tu again aku rasa dia sebab dia tak terlalu mahal and macam dulu Razer punya stuff tu was like what 500 ringgit or 600 ringgit aku tak ingat lah berapa tapi it was very expensive right guys tu saja untuk video kali ni terima kasih banyak-banyak sebab datang untuk tengok review AVF Gaming Freak ok aku asyik tersebut AVF saja. aku dah terbiasa tapi sebenarnya it's actually just Gaming Freak now lepas tu dia punya gaming section is just Gaming Freak and then whatever the brand product name comes after that and so far it has been so good macam aku cakap tadi there is a limit to the applications that you can use of course the best situation untuk dia punya application is let's say korang nak pergi tournament ke apa benda ke ataupun a quick tournament or or uh, kau nak pack very lightly for a LAN party or something or whatever then korang boleh bawa ni and tak semak sangat korang punya meja or maybe ada dedicated section for just gaming dalam rumah kau you can use this one system as well and also kepada streamer-streamer kat luar sana tu Siapa yang nak jadi streamer and everything, korang boleh customize the key with the keyboard, with the with the software and everything. So, korang boleh tukar scene sesuka hati korang secepat yang mungkin just menggunakan the keypads and everything. It will be very, very quick. 
and that is a very definite plus sebab boleh guna untuk you know like streaming software and mula-mula aku ingatkan tak boleh tapi korang kena download dia punya software dulu baru korang boleh customize supaya dia tak register the same key macam mana korang punya main keyboard is so it will be a different keyboard entirely so korang punya so korang punya OBS ataupun XSplit boleh register as a different keyboard and dia tak sibuk dengan bila korang tekan nombor 1 lesson nombor 1 kau tukar sin ke apa ke nombor 2 tukar sin and dia tak sama dengan korang punya main keyboard punya function so that dia tak serabut you, you get what I mean right? right? korang faham apa maksud aku kan? ok itu saja untuk video kali ni terima kasih banyak sebab datang untuk tengok review and macam biasa jangan lupa like ataupun dislike ataupun komen aku nak tahu apa yang korang tahu korang rasa and mungkin uh, Gaming Freak pun nak tahu apa yang korang rasa uh, Gaming Freak punya brand entirely how it grows daripada dulu sampai ke sekarang so maybe korang nak comment on that uh, maybe I am sure Gaming Freak pun nak tahu apa komen korang and also jangan lupa untuk subscribe and also share the video ni kepada member-member korang ataupun dekat Facebook wall ke apa benda ke kat group ke member-member ke apa ke supaya diorang dapat tahu there is this sort of affordable product in the market right now by Gaming Freak and as usual I'll see you in the next one at all the geese baby So go on and get to clapping Go pop a phone plan Pop, pop a phone me Turn around and drop it for a plan